You know, being a modernist, to me, it's like a question, how could you be anything but a modernist? Modernist is about living in your own time and looking ahead. Modernist is trying always to not be about style. It's trying to be about what is really important in the moment. I think modernism has been rediscovered in the last decade or so because it was always, it always had a great answer. It always allowed people to live with nature and to be indoors and outdoors simultaneously. I think modernism is a, is a way of life. It's a way of thinking about how you live your life and, and, uh, and, and to me in some ways you're always searching for truth. I think modern architecture is defined by openness and sort of flexible planning, uh, rooms that aren't divided off one to the next, exterior um, perimeters of homes that can open and close, uh, curtain systems that can cut one room off or open up another. So for me it's flexibility, it's thinness between the exterior and interior of a home, sort of a delicate quality of materials and now sustainability. Modernism is uh, a particularly good fit in California today because there is a rich history of modernism in California. When you think about it, the modern architecture in Los Angeles probably started a hundred years ago with Irving Gill and then uh, was moved forward in a dramatic way by two architects from Vienna, uh, Schindler and Neutra, who brought their own version of European modernism, which then changed when they got to California. What's special about practicing architecture in California, certainly for me, for practicing architecture in Southern California, which I think probably is in Los Angeles particularly, is thinking about, gosh, I, why don't I, everybody moves around, why don't I move to another city, why don't I move, you know, I, I thought of Paris, I thought of all these different places to go, and, and, I, and I, at one point I recognized, wow, you know, I, I happen to be in a place where, if I was somewhere else, this is where I'd want to go. So I just happen to be born here, I'm lucky, might as well stick, stick it out and make a, make a go of it here. I think that California is a special and unique place to practice architecture. And there are so many creative people in so many fields, in fields of not only the arts, uh, entertainment industry, but also the sciences and the medical field. There's, it's just a hotbed of creativity. Okay, for California, architecture really has a kind of a wide range of, of reasons why I think it really makes a lot of opportunity. And one of them is that there's a kind of tradition of a, a kind of progressive, open kind of cultural environment. It, we're, I think that California and a lot of the cliche about California is really coming to the new side of the country, away from the kind of the tradition of, of the Northeast and the early kind of traditions. And, and that coupled with the, the, the environment, which in, in many ways is much easier, uh, a climate that allows a, a lot of interconnection between the indoors and the outdoors, uh, is very favorable to the kind of openness and, and transparency of, of modern architectural kinds of ideas and, and values. Well, I think what's so special about California and Southern California especially is that the aesthetic here is wide open. I mean, this is effectively the Wild West, and basically anything goes, and you can be incredibly creative. The glory of modernism is kind of embedded in the modernist movement, and somehow maybe the movement of architecture 20 years ago, 30 years ago, perhaps lost its way a bit, and it became rediscovered and I also think it's kind of being redefined at the same time and that's what's exciting and that's where we'd like to think we're, what we're doing. We're taking it to new, new kind of new places. And then there's uh, many architects like myself who are interested in sort of, you know, recapturing the simplicity of modern architecture. That's sort of the camp that I'm into, although all of these um, uh, are, are modern ideas and modern expressions. So it's not a style anymore, it's a movement to make architecture of our time. I think readers will be really interested in this book. It's a compilation of many years of work and study by Russell, who has put together a great group of architects. I'm honored to be in that group. 
when one sees the cohesiveness of the ideas and yet the broadness of the thinking, I think this book will actually be quite uh, an impact resource for so many people, both professionally and to the non-professional reader.